Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2015, brought to you by CCI Solutions. CCI Solutions has served churches across the U.S. for over 40 years. Visit their website at ccisolutions.com. All righty, here we are at uh, NAB 2015, and uh, as you would expect uh, from us at a video show, we find the audio products because, you know, we're really audio guys and... Nothing's really more interesting. That's true. So... Uh, big news came out today that uh, Yamaha introduced a whole new lineup of products, the TF1, 3, and 5. And uh, we just kind of got the rundown from them from Jake here. And uh, we're going to give you guys the rundown. I, and I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm impressed with these things. So, uh, Jake Cody from Yamaha, give us the uh, give us the nickel tour. All right. So, uh, man, these things are killer. We're really excited about them. Uh, a ton of really new, uh, we think, industry-changing features are uh, introduced here in the TF series. We got a lot of things like uh, Gain Finder, which is not necessarily an auto gain, but a really clear visual way to help you get back to the same input levels that you had when you recalled your scene originally. If you can imagine, you recall your scene and it sounds great, but if the input level isn't hitting the same number, all your thresholds, everything for your comps and gates is all screwed up. So your recall becomes very useless. So introducing some really great ways on how to do that. Um, one knob EQ. This sounds weird, but it's actually really cool. It's not just a you don't control it, you just turn it. You actually have full control over everything, and it actually makes sense. We've gotten together with industry pros, touring guys that have mixed everybody that you've ever heard of, uh, Shure Microphones, Sennheiser, AT. We've partnered with them, their engineering department. Uh, our R&D department and really come up with some amazing presets that actually sound good and you can talk to these guys They're actually good. We did a little quiz and I asked Mike What would you do on a 58? If you were setting up your vocal EQ and he kind of told me something that he might set up as kind of a pre like this would this would probably where I would start and The one knob actually did exactly that it was pretty amazing and uh, but the cool thing is is that you can actually fine-tune it and readjust it and save that as your new preset so now Jake's EQ for my kick drum in my room in my PA is actually the exact way that I want it, and I can still one knob to that. Unbelievable. Um, one knob uh, compressing uh, compressors as well, really killer. Um, eight multi-effect processors on board. You've got user-defined keys, user-defined knobs. Um, you've got the scribble strips, the channel colors. You've got eight DCAs. This will mix uh, 40 channels, right? Not including your stereo inputs and your effects returns. Um, you can hook up up to 10 iPads and iPhones at the same time, all controlling a stage mix or a new monitor mix application that we're introducing. Uh, the monitor mix app, you can lock out and have it be just on one specific output on the console, and you can dial it in. You can create groups, your own groups on the app. They're really amazing. You can have all those connected as well as having your computer connected at the same time with the editor software, so 11 devices. It's really amazing. You have um, a USB port on the back so that you can record uh, 34 channels to your computer, record and play back simultaneously. Uh, so your virtual sound check, all that is still intact um, right out of the box. It has a new high capacity card slot in the back, not MY, but NY as in Nancy. Uh, up to 64 channels both ways. We're going to introduce a Dante card and a remote TO stage rack uh, later on this year. So you'll be able to do the digital snake. You can still do recording and playback through Dante. Um, if you want to hook up to any other personal monitoring system, that'll be a great way to do it. Uh, this is just absolutely an incredible uh, new product here. And um, you've got 20 AUGs outputs right here, plus two effects dedicated outputs, a stereo output, and then also uh, a bonus mix, basically, a, uh, for, your, for your sub output. But you can use it for anything. So really, we're talking about uh, 20, 21, 22, 23 custom mixable outputs, not including your stereo outputs that you can use for whatever. You can make them stereo if you like. Um, really, I don't know, just some killer stuff. Yeah, it's a great console, lots and lots of, lots of features, but I think the most amazing thing for me, lot, you know, this, there's some great industry changing features. You know, the one knob is actually functional, that's really cool. The one knob compression, EQ, all that. Very, very cool, the presets, all very cool. Um, what is amazing about this console more than anything else is the price point. So we've got three consoles here, the TF1, 2, and 3. Uh, give us a rundown on the uh, price points of that. Yeah, so the uh, the three models, the TF5 is the biggest one, uh, 40 inputs like I said before, you got all the outputs. Um, map pricing on this, 
uh, is going to be $3,600. So really affordable. The TF3 um, can mix the same amount of inputs and outputs. It just has less faders, um, $3,000. And then, of course, the little one, the rack mountable one, 32 channels, same outputs, uh, $2,500. So really, really, uh, really affordable. Yeah. So very, very aggressive pricing on it, given especially the, the channel count, uh, what it can do in terms of the processing that's involved. Um, I got to tell you, it's a, it's a it's the nicest user interface I've ever seen from Yamaha. It's very intuitive. I mean, I walked up to it and started figuring my way around on it very, very quickly. Um, it's going to be a great console to train volunteers on. Um, Man, this is just a, it's a killer little console. So you guys have done a great job with this. Uh, if people want to learn more, it's up on the website, I imagine, now? Yep, yep, all on the website. You can uh, check out our Facebook or Twitter, Yamaha Com Audio. Uh, all the info's on there. You can also check out the website, yeah. The website address is? YamahaCA.com. YamahaCA.com. So you've got to check out the uh, TF5. If you're in the market for a smaller uh, you know, digital console, especially in that under 4000 price range, this has got to be on your list of consoles to consider because it is a killer console. Of course, we haven't heard it yet, but we're looking forward to uh, doing a full evaluation on it as soon as they start shipping, which will be sometime. May. In May. So hopefully we can get our hands on one. We can uh, mix it up and uh, see where we go. But a uh, really cool console, the TF1. Thanks, Jake.